Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to talk about uh, the project which we have developed previously. So about the COVID uh, bed management system. So I got a lot of uh, mails from the people like uh, they are getting uh, errors uh, for the H code, hospital codes, and uh, even for the SMTP email and all those things. So if I just uh, say you about SMTP, SMTP uh, less secure app, okay? So this was uh, was needed to send the emails from our project which we have uh, been developed uh, in the COVID bad. So now what happens here is uh, the Google have uh, disabled uh, the less secure app from now. So if we are not owning that uh, functionality, we cannot able to send the emails uh, from this particular uh, server of the Google. So if you are having a professional emails like uh, suppose your website like if you have airrobotica.in suppose I would have taken the emails of uh, hr at the rate here robotica.in so those emails i can specify in my project and i can just uh, um, put the particular content into my uh, code and i can able to run at a time the emails is going to run but as uh, we don't have any option right now for uh, sending the email so what i did here is uh, i have just uh, modified the bugs from here so what i did i have just comment out the mail and uh, database connection so this was the things of the config file so even the people were sending me the messages like uh, the conf config.json file was not found so where we have uh, added the particular uh, username and a password so and the gmail username and a gmail password so now if it's uh, now this error also I have fixed it because it's based on the uh, root uh, like if your operating system is going to take it or not like that okay so now even this uh, error i have fixed it so if suppose you are having an email of the professional emails like uh, is there you can add your email gmail of it here like like uh, hr at the rate here robotica or info at the rate which are the professional emails are there if it is have and you can add the particular email password here and you can add the admin credentials here and i can you can add the admin credentials here so uh, if you are having then you can refer the code of the previously which i have been uploaded so right now what i have done here is i have enabled uh, this config.json file so i'm going to remove this i'm just going to delete this uh, file itself i it's not necessary right now okay so now i'm going to show you the changes what you have to do uh suppose uh, like if you are new you can just uh, extract the particular github repository so i have uploaded the code here i will be uploading the latest code here you can just download it again you can just uh, watch this installation of the covid blah bit system and you can uh, install the project and it, it is it will run perfectly without any errors so follow the same things whatever i have teached it over here okay so now uh, coming back to the code if you want to run your email you have to first uh, configure this uh, app.config.update file and you have to enable this comment and you have to enable all this so you have to just uh, uncomment it this just uncomment this one so just you have to pass here one thing you have to um, pass here as well as a here so what you have to pass here you have to pass the uh, gmail uh, account and you have to pass same thing you have to pass below so whatever the professional email you have taken you have to pass this one okay you have to just tell gmail account i am just going to gmail account password so gmail account and gmail account password you have to pass it over here so whenever you are enabling it and i'm now i'm just uncommenting this because i'm not going to use if you want to use the uh, gmail so for functionality for your project you have to uncomment this you have to uncomment the line number uh, 10 then coming back to the main so here i have uncommented you can see my mail start from here you can uncomment this one and you can just run the project and the mail is going to work in your case if only if you have wide the professional emails so you don't want to go into that mails concept you just want your project to run successfully without any errors then leave the code as it is or how i have left it just download the code from uh, my github repository watch this installation video and run the project in your lab okay so uh, if i just open the if i just run the project now if i see i will just uh, save everything now even i have fixed a lot of bugs with this project so you should not see any errors so i have uh, bugged it i have debugged the content from uh, i just uh, debugged all those content right now so where is the link so i'm just going to open the project so once i open the project you can see i have fixed before it was not opening this page directly if i click here it is going to open right now like all the functionalities are working fine just follow the 
comments of this video and uh, install it and run the project as it is so everything gonna work now so there will be uh, no errors everything is going to work it over there even uh, logins hospital login and everything i have kept the dynamic even if you log in with the hospital whatever the hospital code you will be going to uh, choose that all things i have kept it as a dynamic over here so if you watch this video you'll be seeing what all the uh, extra things i have uh, debugged with this uh, particular project and i have uh, made it dynamic in the drop downs and all so there will be no errors from now so i hope uh, this is going to resolve uh, the everyone's issue who have commented and uh, thank you for watching this video thank you for your support and if you're new to the channel please subscribe it and you can just download the latest code from here and you can just run the project however i have been uh, said into my previous video so take care bye bye